Hello and welcome to Nerd Sanctum. Today we will be talking about what machine learning is and how it's involved with video games. So starting off with machine learning, let's first debunk a common misconception. A lot of the times when non-programmers talk about machine learning, they make it seem like this mystical thing that's very strange, unorganized, chaotic, or even illogical. But it's anything apart from that. Uh, it's a very structured and scientific and mathematical process. Essentially, machine learning is the process of studying algorithms and discovering matching patterns within large data sets. Just a reminder, in case you aren't familiar with the term algorithm, but it's simply a step-by-step -step procedure with a set of rules and operations that given an input will generate an output. So since machine learning is the process of studying algorithms, this means that instead of a programmer explicitly writing code for a particular reason, they write a program that would take all this input find some patterns, then determine what would be the proper response. So now that we know that, let's talk about how it's involved with video games. A few quick popular examples are Forza Motorsport 5 and Titanfall. In Forza, everyone has a racing profile, which is a ghost racer or a computer version of yourself that other people can race against. Then, once the computer recognizes and learns a bunch of patterns in your driving responses, when other people race against your profile, the program can say, given that situation, you know, what would you probably do? then it's as if that person is playing a replica of yourself. Now onto the specific technologies that Forza is using to complete all this. All of your controller inputs and driving reactions in your game are sent from your console over a service like Xbox Live to a server that runs something called Drivatar. Now, this is a machine learning program that Microsoft Research has built. Um, so then Drivatar figures out, given you know which profiles you're racing against, you know, what their response would be, then sends that back to your console for it to be processed and rendered on your screen. Now, not only is the speed of all this amazingly fast, but let's talk about what this really means for gaming. So if you have a computer observing all of these different racers and generating their profiles, right? And you have people racing against profiles. Well, why can't you have fake profiles race against fake profiles, which basically means that you have these replicas of people racing against each other and you can figure out which one's the best. So then what you can do is you can kind of determine which is the best profile, right, overall. So then what you can do is instead of having, you know, someone specifically program an AI saying, oh, hey, you know, this computer has to respond all these different ways, right, you can just kind of pick a profile. And that means that if you pick the best possible profile, then that means you have a computer that can't be better than anyone, or at least, you know, it's as good as the best human player that's ever played the game. Um, so that is kind of crazy that you can have all this, you know, ease of information and different types of racing styles from, you know, just this machine learning output, um, which is really cool. And this translates to a whole bunch of different other types of games, like Titanfall. So imagine if you have a computer enemy that is supposed to be fighting against a player, but it can learn how the player reacts to things and how other players react to things. So it can specifically, you know, gauge the difficulty based on that individual player. Um, so you can make things, you know, super difficult or super easy, um, or even, you know, uniquely respond to like, you know, hey, what type of player are they and what would be the most fun way that we can respond to them. But anyways, that's that. I hope you liked this video and that I explained everything clearly. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time, have a good day.